Aries. We're now going to focus on a little bit more on this um, on this relationship, the advice uh, for you and this person, what you need to know um, about that about this connection, uh, and also the advice okay for this relationship. So let's um, let's have a look and see what a relationship with this person could look like, okay. Um, just what we can learn in general about a relationship with this person, and then we'll have a look at the advice. Okay, Aries. Okay, the Hermit is here. Uh, he represents the sign of Virgo. Okay, Virgo is all about communication, analytics, um, thinking about things, but also quite an independent sign. It's a sign that seeks to find perfection or seeks to perfect something. So straight away, I'm seeing that there could be a lot of pressure placed on this relationship, pressure to make it perfect. Now, I think you're both competitive and I think you're both going to try to make this per, uh, perfect, but it's important not to place too much pressure on each other. Um, there's a lot of excitement and attraction around that's come up with the King of Wands. So that's always a good sign. Um, but seeing this, um, you see how he sort of, is is excited and sort of perky by the three ladies that he sees here so and and i see the hermit here which is independence so um it's someone who wants to be independent possibly wants to keep their options open or maybe wants an open-ended relationship um or i don't know if if you know what it is they're looking at with the three of cups i don't know if it's something that they want to have so they want freedom essentially so I think it's a relationship where the both of you must have your independence or that's the kind of relationship they're wanting, um, but also to keep communication open. Uh, I feel like the hermit here has come up for a reason, and I think that reason is the two of you must try to work on communication because they're not going to give a whole lot away. And I think with the hermit, they are someone who retreats and bottles up their feelings. The hermit tends to shy away from society. Um, he, he, he leads an aesthetic life away from everyone away from convention away from the norm because he likes to do things differently he's also a figure of solitude so it's someone that yes wants their own company wants to maintain their own identity and wants an element of freedom uh, in their relationship i think that's very very uh, pivotal to them because like i said i mean maybe this is not necessarily saying that this person wants options sexually uh, but i feel like with the king of wands looking over so keenly to the three of cups um, it is someone who wants to keep things open and this kind of relationship could be open-minded in a lot of ways. Um, so I really think it's going to be a different kind of relationship for you, Aries. Um, I think it's going to excite you in a lot of ways. You're coming up as the, the king and the page of wands, um, but the page of wands is reversed. Um, normally he represents things like intimacy, affection, and, and, and declaring that love, you know, being intimate, being hands-on, being flirtatious, and that's sort of reversed here. So there might be a message here that you might need to work on affection, intimacy, or sex, uh, but also adventurism and spontaneity, Aries. But I mean, the good thing is, I often see the page of ones as uh, like a little bit, not immature, but someone who's still not settled in their ways. And the fact that he's coming up is reversed is that I don't necessarily feel like this person wants to play about and not be realistic, not have a relationship, because in a lot of ways, I do think they're quite traditional. Um, I just think they're past all of that drama, all of that negativity, or all of the little minor things that people do. I think they are over their single life to a degree, um, and then they're not here to play to play too many mind games okay there might be some they could be strategic in an aspect where they might try to reel you in but not any deceiving mind games i don't i don't get that it's that severe the three of cups is here so it is someone who wants to enjoy their relationship okay they want a lot of happiness they want a lot of adventure they want they want to experience a lot so they do want variation um, but they do also want to maintain relationships with their friends and family. Um, and I think you meeting their friends and family is super important. Okay. For them, it's like they need that approval. So they, they hold their friends or their family in very high regard Aries. Um, and it's going to be, it could be quite intimidating for a lot of you. And, and, and a lot of you may feel like you need to live up to the approval or the blessing of their parents. 
siblings, friends, relatives, colleagues. So I feel like that's the pressure. That's the pressure thing that's coming up. But it could be a very fun relationship. There could be a lot of celebration. There could be a lot of romance. Um, a lot of good times. The courtship stage. There's a lot of dating maybe. Um, a lot of fun activities are in store for the both of you. And then the king of ones. I don't think there's someone who's going to give up easy in their relationship. They're quite persistent. When they want something, they'll definitely um, act towards it. They may not necessarily say things. Remember how I mentioned they might keep things at, at, you know bottled in, but they'll act on it. Uh, with the King of Wands. But it can be impulsive at times, so there could be a lot of impulsive activity in this relationship. So that might be something you'll have to um uh, you'll have to work on together. But let's see what's the advice for Aries um, in dealing with this person or having a relationship with this um, person that has come up in the cards. Um, okay, Aries, surrender to the divine full moon. Okay, this is submission. Um, there'll be a lot of times where you'll have to swallow your pride and submit or surrender. It might not be something you're used to doing, Aries, so obviously this person is going to coax that out of you. Um, but full moon, this is about knowing your limits, surrender to the divine. It's also about having faith, okay? This person is going to want you to have a lot of faith and trust in them. And it could be fairly quickly because it's a full moon. It's not a new moon. It's not like it's a new beginning. Let's learn to trust each other. It's almost like an expectation. Now, obviously, uh, trust has to be built and earned. Uh, but it's going to be very different for a lot of you watching. But I think the expectation to trust and surrender and submit is going to be there. And they could be fairly stubborn, like it's it's my way or it's no, it's it's the highway type thing. So ultimatums come to mind here as well. So um, I think in some ways you might have met your match here, Aries. Um, we'll see. We'll see what else the advice is here for you. Um, but full moon, a lot of emotion. This person's going to be very emotionally connected to you. Very drawn, Aries. Okay, don't let pride get in your way. Full moon in Leo. I did mention stubbornness. Um, Leo can be a protective or possessive energy. Um, Aries, the message here is don't let pride get in your way. This is putting your ego to the side. Okay, you're going to have to, one of you is going to have to back down with the other, especially when things become intense or heated. Um, but it's Leo energy, putting your, pr don't let your pride get in the way of what it is that you want. Now the ego, I think that's the biggest thing. It's either dealing with this person's ego or, you know, a part of you may feel like you always want your ego stroked with this person, Aries. And there might be a message here that you might have to put that aside. Um... Because in this relationship, if you want it to be successful, you're going to have to swallow your pride and put aside your stubbornness to get what you want. There's a lot of submission here, Aries. You're possibly not used to that. You're used to being control in a relationship. Uh, sorry, you're used to being in control um, in a relationship. So that might be new to you. Okay, that might be fairly, um, fairly foreign to you uh, is what I get here. Uh, what else is coming up for the sign of Aries? Okay, meditate and contemplate. New moon in Pisces. Pisces is a very intuitive sign. This person may want you to use your intuition a lot, um, or you're going to be, um, you're going to have to learn to be more considerate or empathetic towards this person's emotions. Um, likewise, I feel like they could also be learning to be, because um, it's a new moon, it could indicate new beginnings in emotions or new beginnings being intuitive or empathetic and reading each other emotionally um, is what I get. So meditate and contemplate. You'll need space from each other, um, emotional space to think and to contemplate and understand what you're going through. So it's important that you take that time because I think the both of you are quite independent or independently natured. So I think that will be beneficial to the both of you because we have two fishes coming up, which would indicate um, it's beneficial for the two parties, yourself uh, and this person. But a lot of emotion is going to be tied into this connection, this relationship. It can be a little bit of back and forth and duality, um, a little bit of ping-ponging emotionally. Um, but not to be impulsive, 
to meditate on things Aries this is going this this relationship is definitely going to be a test of patience for you but I think the fruits of what can come can be absolutely fantastic and you can build you know surrender to the divine this is all about surrendering to fate and things that were destined for us um, and if this is so beautifully coming up for you in your love life then I do think you're in store for what could be very um, potentially long-term and fruitful and happy relationship um, let's, let's pull out one more card Aries okay show the world the real you this is about being authentic this is about showing off your real talent full moon in Aquarius this is all about confidence um, I almost want to say overconfidence. I don't know if this is from you or from this person. Um, the advice would be show the world the real you. The advice would be um, exclusivity. Um, either showing off this person on social media, making things exclusive. They're all about titles and what's the status and where are we going and where's this direction. So I think this is someone who's going to need that reassurance from you because Aquarius is exposure and full moon is like, wow, let's put it out there. Let's not shy away from any of that. So I think this is what they're going to expect in the relationship. Or well, the advice would be is that they want that confidence um, and they want you to feel confident showing the real you. This is all about being authentic, being honest, being true to values. And this is what they're wanting to see from you and vice versa, Aries. I know for a fact that's what you're going to want to see from them. So um, I do hope this reading has been helpful for you. Um, and I do wish you the best of luck in this relationship, Aries. So uh, take care, best of luck, and bye for now.